Hi, readers. Welcome to Kids Books with Pictures. Are you ready to read a fun story today? Well, come on. Let's start reading. Today's story is about a little girl who helps her grandpa every day. In plain sight, written by Richard Jackson, illustrations by Jerry Pinkney. Sophie lives with Mama and Daddy and Grandpa, who lives by the window. He can see Sophie come and go. Call and wave goodbye, hello, as he looks out. And after school each day, Sophie looks in. Here I am, Grandpa. She says, "How was the morning?" Surprising, he says. I had me a paper clip, you know, nice and shiny. Now it's vanished. Help me find it, will you? With your bright eyes, where? Says Sophie. That's just it, honey. You have to look. If you lean close, you might hear Sophie say, "Oh," and eventually you might hear her say, "There." Good, says Grandpa. Thanks, honey. Here I am," Sophie says on Tuesday. "Ah, Sophie," he says. "How was school?" "Good. It was a blue day." "Well, I can see that." "And how about you, Grandpa? Today was..." "Regretful." "Oh yes, I had me a rubber band, stretchy, boing. Now, boing, that band is gone. Help me find it, huh?" And eventually, in plain sight, here I am, Grandpa says Sophie on Wednesday. Was today better? Not so much, Grandpa says. I had me a drinking straw, bendy just right. You remember? Now it's skedaddled. I'll look, says Sophie. I wonder. And eventually, in plain sight. Good girl, Grandpa says. Thanks. On Thursday, Sophie says, "Here I am, Grandpa. Anything missing?" Well, wouldn't you know, Grandma's favorite painting brush for watercolors, child. I'm missing that. Can you help me, Lovey? I can try, says Sophie, and eventually. In plain sight, here I am, Grandpa. Friday at last. You bet, honey. He says, turning his smile to her. But wait, just look. Oh, Grandpa, you silly. Keep the dollar, Sophie. Tomorrow, he says, you can buy yourself something with it. Here I am, Grandpa. Sophie says, "Early today." No shopping. Well, best to save that dollar, I guess, for college. Now let's see. I had me a what? A lemon drop. Delicious to think of, but then it just trotted off, unlicked. Don't tell me, Grandpa. And eventually, in plain sight, good girl says, "Grandpa, no, no, you have it." Sunday morning, as usual, at his door, Sophie starts to say, "Grandpa, here I," but Mama hushes her. He's sleeping now, which gives Sophie an idea. She whispers to Mama. 
Daddy laughs when he hears. All right, he says, if you tiptoe. Here's Sophie at her very quietest, her tiptoeingest. That curtain at Grandpa's window? Well, keep your eye on it. And eventually, where's Sophie? Grandpa wakes. Oh. <gasps> oh. <sighs> Behind the curtain, a commotion. Wiggling, jiggling, giggling. Sophie, Grandpa says. That you? What I'll be. Here I am. Sophie says. Like always. Hey readers, wasn't that a good story? Tap the thumbs up to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you can hear new stories at Kids Books with Pictures. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. See you next time.